Hi guys, this is going to be a twin flame read for the collective sign of Capricorn. So, before we get into the message, let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity for any messages needed to come through for the collective sign of Capricorn. For this, their twin flame read. Jesus name, amen. There's going to be an extended to this read. The link is in the description box down below. It'll lead you to the Patreon page where um, it's just one tier, five dollars you get access to all the extendeds. And the way that I set it up is Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. So. If you're not into the whole twin flame thing, if you don't believe anything about the twin, yeah, twin flame connection, just look at it as energetic connection that you have with someone. So, for the divine feminine side, I'll be using the mystical moments oracle card deck and the tarot deck for the divine masculine, the path of the sacred masculine, and the dragon tarot. And then in the extended, I'll pull a few additional oracle cards. So all that being said, let's get to it. Divine Feminine. Pure Nature. Seven. Card number seven. It's the number of creation. Let's get one from the bottom. New Directions. 45. Four and five reduces down to nine. And that is the number of completion. So, for the Divine Masculine, let's go with the Sacred, Path of the Sacred Masculine. Alright, here we go. Sword. I feel like it's truth and passion for the Divine Masculine. And for the Divine Feminine, it's being really authentically themselves and it leading them in new directions. Um, whichever side resonates with you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, it doesn't, like, take what resonates, leave the rest. Everybody knows that when it comes to tarot card reads. Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, they are working on themselves and guarding the work that they're putting in. Nine of Wands, yeah, very defensive about it. Eight of Pentacles, there's the self-work here. King of Wands, the Divine Feminine version of that card. Ace of Wands and... The Hermit. Divine Feminine is definitely working on themselves. In a cocoon stage. So, we have the Divine Masculine side. Eight of Swords, the Devil, they're in their head, uh, Five of Cups, Three of Wands, waiting, Knight of Cups, Ten of Swords, 
temperance and page of wands okay listen I'm gonna say this because it it shows up sometimes like this when you're in an energetic connection with someone when you're in a twin flame connection with someone um, what ends up happening for the reader is that the energies flip so even if you're watching a twin flame read and it's just a straight twin flame read and not separated divine feminine and divine masculine the energy can flip to where they can pick up the other person and it can be a mixture of that and what I found with this layout is that like cards will show up occasionally in this read and that's where the energy may flip and it's the connection point between them between both sides so the connection point is this knight of cups now it's funny too because on the other side of the knight of cups both sides have a 10 card here and the tens are closing out a cycle and beginning of a new cycle Nines are the completion of the cycle. Tens, it's closing the door, completing the cycle, beginning a new one. The funny thing here, though, is that the Knight of Cups shows up towards the end of the Divine Masculine's read, and it's the beginning of the Divine Feminine's read. I'm half tempted to do it opposite or backwards the way I usually do the reads. Should I do it that way? Kind of wondering. Let's just keep the routine up here. Um, because what this tells me is that these two points is the beginning of this side story divine feminine side story um divine masculine has previous things to say here we'll just keep it the way it is because i don't want to so for the divine feminine like i said being authentically themselves and really embracing who they are finally and I feel like it is finally point and this is taking them in new directions this is really um, pinpointing pinpointing their course where before they may have been trying to kind of fit into this mold now they are really embracing their um, uniqueness we'll just put it that way so divine feminine like I said knight of cups first card down the connection here on the divine masculine we'll get to that when I get over there um, knight of cups is love offer coming in really It's like a stalemate here. Is that what it is? I think this read's going to be a little bit different. I may read both um, sides together. Um, yeah, this is a stalemate. And not even a stalemate. It's one of those things of both feel the same way not showing it one wanting to say it the other one waiting for you see what I mean like one waiting for the other one and back and forth and what I heard in my head when I picked this card for the divine feminine was it was a receiving and then giving So, giving, then receiving, receiving, then giving. 
so both on the same page here. Now, I haven't read it like that since the beginning. The card after the Knight of Cups on both sides is a 10. 10 of Pentacles for Divine Feminine, 10 of Swords for Dum Divine Masculine. Now, 10 of Pentacles for the Divine Feminine is its long-term stability. It's getting your ducks in a row. This is putting money aside. This is learning how to save. This is not just tangible wealth. This is resources. This is... Um, a Ten of Pentacles can even go into, like, studying. Taking a course or learning something new that will bring in this long-term stability and be able to... Um, Put aside not just for the now but future generations for the divine masculine the next card was also a 10 it was 10 of swords this is heartbreak disappointment but it's closing that out in the spirit song tarot each card is represented by an animal in the spirit song tarot the ten of swords is the snake and the reason is because the snake sheds its skin so the harsh lessons of life the snake will shed that shed the offense shed the pain keep the wisdom well keep the knowledge apply the knowledge to your life and that's how you get the wisdom but it will make note of the lessons it will shed though the offenses the bitterness the unforgiveness it will shed those because it's using the lessons to build up and to grow and to evolve Trans transforming them into light taking that darkness from those harsh lessons and making them light so both sides as soon as this Knight of Cups is exchanged, and I feel like it's an exchange. Sorry, honey. Let me push her over there. I don't like knocking you over. As soon as this cup is exchanged, there's growth. Growth, healing. So, I'm, I'm just going to say this. When it comes to how do I put this? Anything you read about Twin Flame connections, okay? Everything, like there's so many, there's so much information out there that each person that writes about Twin Flame or speaks about Twin Flame connections will differ in this way or differ in that way and everyone's got their opinion about it and everything, okay? But the one thing that everyone agrees upon is that at the end of the day, you are choose yourself. Choose to love yourself, choose to nurture yourself, and in that way you break cycles, you um, cause growth in the other and in the connection. By loving yourself, you feed the connection with love, you open yourself up to love, and there's an ascension that happens with love and opening yourself and feeding the connection with love and everything. Okay, now, what happened here though is that if you, we'll put it that way, if you look at the phrase or the, you look at the statement of choosing self, you would assume that it is choosing yourself first and foremost and always choose yourself. In this case, it's kind of a play on words. Now, just like, I'll use the example, what example, Seven of Swords. And I've used this, this example before because it's popped up like that. It's a thief card. It's not always about physical thievery. It's also sometimes about having energy stolen from you, time stolen, wasting your time, but it's also too 
because it's a play on words and it can go into that thievery side of it having your attention stolen by someone see what I'm saying I feel like this is a play on words here and it's clever little twist to it that is a unique way of looking at it because when it comes to choosing themselves what they ended up doing was choosing what was best for themselves what was best here was to feed the connection and to connect see what I mean So it was one of those things of opening your heart in order to open their heart, in order to heal one another's heart chakra, in order to um, bring the walls down, what needed to happen was a connection. See? So they were choosing themselves, but what it ended up happening was they were choosing one another. See how the play on words happened? And I like that when it happens because it, it goes to show you that if you pick up a card, this is the meaning of the card, period. No, the, it's a little bit more to this than that. Like, it's an energy around it. Um, the flat meanings can then, like, it's much more than that. Language itself is expansive, should be expansive instead of limiting and I'm not even that's a whole other speech I could go on for, yeah I'm not even doing that but this is the thing is that when this happens you get growth you get one that's going in just Divine Feminine not really understanding what's happening, working on themselves because they're finally open to the connection. That's how they chose self, was choosing the connection. So there's different ways of looking at this. So we started out here. Let's keep going. We'll do Divine Feminine. Like I said, it was choosing the connection and that's how they chose self. Ten of Pentacles. This is that new direction opening up for them. And I feel like they're studying. I feel like they're learning something new. That's going to set them on this path. The same time, Seven of Wands and Knight of Wands. Nine of Wands, sorry. Seven of Wands is clear in the decks. This card, the depiction of Seven of Wands, is breaking out of Cage. Um, wands are words. Seven is number of creation. This is creating a new, creating, basically removing the obstacles out of the, your way. Nine of wands is being very defensive about that new path. So the divine feminine gained clarity. I'm just saying that. A very precise, pre well, not even, I wouldn't say precise, precision, focus. Like, they know which direction they're going. This is what's opening up to them. Eight of Pentacles is working on self. Learning something new, growing, evolving. King of Wands, and I like this. In this deck, the Mystical Moments Terror deck and the Oracle Card deck, it's by Katrin Wilt Stein. Um... Each Divine Masculine card in the deck has a Divine Feminine counterpart. When you get the deck, you got the choice to remove either the Masculine cards or the Feminine cards, keep one over the other. I kept them all in. The reason I did that is because I don't feel like the deck is complete without just keeping all of them in. You get the full story. It makes the reads much... It just brings it to a higher level and it gives it more of a depth this card I'm showing up divine feminine version of the divine masculine card of the king of wands king of wands with the divine masculine the divine masculine version of the card is aries energy 
the divine feminine version of the king of wands would be queen of wands that's sagittarian energy now every time this card shows up it's like both of them together sagittarian energy is will tell the truth no matter what there's no bs there's no um making it look good sound good it's nothing like that sagittarians will tell you the truth no matter what aries on the other hand are very flirtatious they're the salesmen they're charismatic they'll draw you in i feel like with this card showing up they're working on themselves but this is it's not only their energy it kind of describes their personality they're going to give it to you straight short sweet to the point sagittarians will we often say things off the cuff where it will be truthful no matter how painful it sounds no matter how harsh it may come across but with sagittarians there's this grace around it like it's um god's way of saying we need a truth talker among all the signs and this is the one with aries though aries takes it to the humorous side of it where there are also the truth talkers that is the fire signs but aries will do it with humor they'll do it with charisma like they'll draw you in when they're telling you the truth they'll crack jokes they'll um make you feel loved and supported while they're doing it sagittarians don't care leos may never tell you the truth because if you're not going to listen to them you're not going to listen to them they'll walk away but to have both energies and i feel like with the, when this card shows up it is both energies but it's it's that telling you the truth but at the same time there's humor behind it it's loving it's not a fire to burn you but it's a fire to warm you and that's funny that this shows up on the divine masculine side along with the sword which is um i always see that as the ace of swords which is truth and clarity for the divine feminine ace of wands there's that new beginning and here's the hermit card so and that's Virgo energy. Um, so new beginning, I feel like, is for this connection deeper. At the same time, Divine Feminine is going into hermit mode. It's not, a hermit isn't putting your head in the sand. It's internalizing. It's self-reflection, self-contemplation. It's taking a look at shadows their own shadows taking a look at the work that needs to be done they could be going through a healing this knight of cups on both sides could even be that heart awakening that's going to throw one or both sides into that hermit mode because when you go through that heart chakra healing awakening it's painful depends on the wounds that are there it is painful so and it's I'm trying to find the words tonight and I'm like stumbling over my words it's delicate but it's very intricate like it's like small work delicate work then you go to divine masculine now this is before the knight of cups Eight of Swords and the Devil Energy in their head. Eight of Swords is mental cage. It's going around, round, round, round. This is having questions, not being able to answer them. Devil Energy, I feel like, was this is never going to happen. Oh my God, when is this going to happen? How long are we going to play this game? Round and round. And then it's even questioning um, maybe I was wrong double thinking see what I mean double energy is this negativity 
And with the Eight of Swords combining with it, it's catching them or it caught them in this mental loop. Five of Cups along with the Devil energy and the Eight of Swords caught in the past. Five of Cups is nostalgic, but we go to the past to answer questions. We don't stay there. And there's a harm in staying there because, I mean, you could lose yourself in the past. Three of Wands, waiting. Waiting. I always get where it comes to Three of Wands. It's like you're talking to someone Let's say you're texting them or social media, you're sending messages back and forth. You send them a message, they've read it, haven't responded yet. So the three is that question in your head of when are they gonna get when are they gonna respond? What are they gonna say? What is and it going back and forth over both sides of the reply. Could it be good? Could it be bad? You know, three of wands is that back and forth with yourself so you, yeah like a tennis match internal tennis match then the knight of cups happens for the divine masculine both sides it closes out the cycle for the divine masculine I feel like it was always not a question but they're going back and forth with this not back and forth but they are feeling like Divine Feminine didn't understand what was going on. I feel that energy very strongly. Like they did not believe it, didn't understand what was going on, kept going through the logic side of it. Oh no, it has to be this. Oh, it has to be this. It, it's not that. There's no way it's that. So they were taking it from a different approach. You can't see spiritual things from a logical mind. Um, what is the verse in the Bible? It says... We, our flesh is at enmity with God. We fight against the spiritual things our flesh does. The logical mind is part of the flesh because it's, it's the logic, the logical mind will say, I know more than God does. The spiritual mind will say, I am filled with God. See what I mean? So, I feel like that's what was happening with Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine, though, took it as love of rejection. Like, every time they walked away, it was, what did I do? What did I do? That, that type of thing. Like, it, that's what caused this Eight of Swords, the mental cage. What did I do? What happened? How can I change this? How can we do this differently? So instead of, like they got caught up in this mental, like going round and round, but I don't think that was the main thing that happened here. Because in order for this to have happened, I feel like the divine masculine was the one that was feeding the connection, love, feeding it light, um, good energy. Both sides ended up doing that, and that's what woke the connection to another level, if that makes sense. Last two cards for the first set, first spread for the Divine Masculine, Temperance Energy, Sagittarian. Sagittarius card, that is Patience with Endurance and Page of Wands. Messages. So... My masculine is just patiently waiting and enduring, feeding good energy to the connection, waiting for this message. And I feel like they're going to get it at the same time Divine Feminine is working on themselves and growing and evolving, putting in the work putting in the effort to, because they've found a really precision, found their path, the road has opened up for them, I feel like they were in a fog, 
if you understand what I mean. So, this is the first part to Twin Flame Read for the Collective Sign of Capricorn. Like I said, if you're interested in the second part, the link is in the description box down below. It'll take you to the Patreon. So, for the Collective Sign of Capricorn, Love and Light. <laughs> 